Hunger, I guess? No. I don't know, but I don't know. It's still like I'm right. telling you. There so are general just, themes like that, you know, um, that you can do things much cheaper here. Uh, there are hungry people here. There are plenty of young people here who are excited about doing I mean, uh, it's not just in the U.S. or Silicon Valley where people are interested in doing startups. There's tons of start. There's like startup fever here. There's tons of events here. Vietnamese people are very thirsty, and they're much more like, "What are you doing? What can I learn from you?" Now that's it. Okay, done. Um, not not that Vietnamese people are not also gentle and fun, but th I think that's more the feeling that I get from Bar Camp Saigon. Like last year, we had somebody talk about, you know, like four things you need to know about startups. And all these, you know, young Vietnamese people are just like, oh, yeah, you know, like, oh, what about this, blah, blah, blah. It's pretty cool. One, one problem I see is that, in, at least in, so in terms of Silicon Valley, that Silicon Valley doesn't solve real world, world problems as much. Um, and is more involved in, like, you know, bringing up the coolest next thing. Whereas I think a lot of startups that are happening here, I mean, they're also doing that because they want to copy what's happening in Silicon Valley. But there are also a lot of startups that are, you know, trying to solve real world problems. Like Ho Chi Minh City is very urban, but, you know, it's 10 million people in a 90 million uh, populous country where that 80 or, you know, 70 million is mostly rural. So, you know, if you want to be a successful startup, you have to address those concerns for, like, you know, internet cafes out in the boonies, you know. Whereas that is not a problem that Silicon Valley has to face.